Hey, I'm Muchling and Outsiders. Let's start this new chapter of the Academy for the cool effects we can find around the web to make our miniature look more pro, such as the weathering and chipping, lava effect, chrome effect, marble effect, and burn gun effect. Today, I'll show you the best and easiest way to achieve the weathering and chipping effect. Let's go! Our tools for the weathering and chipping will be a ruined brush and a sponge. Also, there are some brands which have specific materials and pots to achieve the weathering. You can use them, especially for the strikes. I suggest you to get this one from Meek, which is great. But for this tutorial, I'll show you how it works and what is that creates the cool weathering effects. First of all, we have to say that the weathering is when the varnish or paint from a surface is scrapped. Therefore, we will see the metal color in the inner parts and a rusted brownish color on the edges of the scrapped parts. This means that our first step is to take a dark brown like the rhinoxide and start stippling as randomly as possible. The ruined tip of our brush or the sponge will help with the random effect. Remember to dry brush the color on a paper before applying it on the miniature because the drier the better for our random effect. Once done, we are now able to add our metal part. This time we are going to use a good brush with a nice tip. And I'm going to use a number one miniature from Winsor Newton, otherwise even a triple zero will be fine. The color I'm going to use is a bright silver. This one from Scale Color is called Heavy Metal. Now we have to retrace all the previous stains but leaving some space without covering the whole brown color underneath. So my PC decided to not record the second step so let's redo it again on the other leg. And here is the final result, guys. As you can see, it's so quick and easy. Extra tip, if you like to make some scratches, remember to do a darker line below and a lighter one above, as you should do for the scars on the skin. While for the strips, apply patiently all the lines with more layers going from the bottom to the top of the strip. Let me show you a picture of my first attempt made many years ago, I think 5 or 6, with my Mortarion, to show you what I mean. Meanwhile, let's paint the scratches.
guys, I really hope that this tutorial is going to be helpful and I want to remind you that my painting academy is completely free but if you like to support my work there's the link in the description to my Patreon page or even better there's my special merchandising where you can find cool stuff and gadgets. And of course, feel free to join my Discord community. I put the link below in the description as well. And we are already 100 people who love painting and learning new techniques and make friends. There are both Italians and foreigners, thus don't be shy and join us. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video with the burnt gun effect. And don't forget to warm up your brushes.